Suddenly, devastatingly, a nightmare unfolded for the runaway leader. It was broken power steering. It's a podium here in Sardinia. Sorry. Congratulations. Tanak is stopped. Tanak is stopped. Tanak having to wrestle the Yaris through every corner. It was heartbreaking to watch, having dominated since Saturday morning, but the time was slipping away. Incredibly, it would be Danny and Notoit who would take the win. Things were about to get acrobatic for Toyota's young Japanese star Takamoto Katsuta. Don't look away. Oh, oh my word! That's a huge, huge accident for Taka Katsuta. They're okay, they're talking. They're okay, they're talking. Here we are again from the inside of the car. Yeah, as you say, it's actually the inside of the corner that caught them out. So narrow in there. Sebastian Ogier lost out to Newville by 1.8 seconds on the first pass of this stage this morning. He's been fractionally down on the splits, but would still have it in hand at the line. What about, though, the finishing line? Oh, he's slower, too slow. Ogier's lost out by 0.7 of a second overall. And now Neville has done the maths. A masterful push, justifiably rewarded with victory. Sordo was in good shape. Trying a little too hard in places, tumbling down this famous sandy cliffside to the finish. But the Spaniard was controlled enough. The big four could have their bonus points. He would claim the rally victory. So, Sordo the winner, and Nerville beating Ogier into third. And with those three covered by just 6.1 seconds, that's the closest WRC podium ever. Well, Genny starts this stage in a podium position. He did lead briefly in Greece as well, so we know he's quick. Oh, no! That is a huge accident. They're on the roof. The first concern, of course, for Evgeny and Ilka. I think they're OK, but they are going to be very shaken after this. Just clipped the rear into the wall, and they were passengers. But as I said, Evgeny and Ilka, thankfully, unharmed. But Oik Tanak, this is a careful run to the line. In Poland last year, he was leading into the penultimate stage until a gearbox issue. This time, he is in the last stage. And there's the line. He's done it. Victory for the first time in WRC. And for M Sport, another first time winner for the team. And now Oik Tanak mounts the roof of his fiesta to take the applause. The Montilerno stage, home to the iconic Mickey's Jump, named in honour of the man who designed it, Michele Carter. It's been drawing thousands of rally fans since 2005. Set the line, floor the pedal, stare at the sky, and take flight. Some get it right, some get it wrong. Either way, it's always compelling. Watch WRC Plus on all devices, WRC Plus, all live.